Um, for me, when we train people, it's an ongoing training. And also, I observe each person the speed of their growth. <laughs> there, <laughs> there are some people who grow very fast. <laughs> and then I will, you know, let them grow fast. But at, but at the same time, I remind them to be humble. Mm. Now, for instance, for myself, I really remind myself it's no use to be proud. God gave me this idea. We're all building on the foundation of Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. It's like you're building a wall. Do you build up a wall and then you tear it down? Now, if you build up and tear it down, you, you, you get nowhere. If we serve God and we are proud, we are tearing down what we're building. It's no use. Now, even though when I also share about how God do great things through me, but you notice that when I say it, I will say this. God has a wonderful plan for you too. Everyone who follows God, He gives you that plan. And I tell people I'm not worthy. God chose me when I was weak and sinful. And God, and God changed me and so I responded to God. And all the strategy came from God. So I encourage people to be humble. Because some people grow very fast and they can be very proud. <laughs> they say I have more gifts than other people. Now also people who receive visions and directions from God. Now they have the greatest danger to be proud. Yeah. Because they will say, yeah, I received special revelation. <laughs> but I will tell them, if you have pride, what you receive will not be accurate. You know, your level is now very elementary. It will only go high if you are very humble. And when you have a heart for God, then your revelation will go higher. Many people's revelation is just comfort. They, they saw Jesus loving them. Jesus confirming what they're doing. This art. Revelation of comfort and encouragement. And I, and I told them the most important revelation is for the future to guide the church, to guide revival. Only people who have the heart for God and who are humble can go to this high level. So for each person, the speed is different. Now for some people, they are always very slow. I will give them assignments that are simpler. And if people have this you know, some people have the tendency to easily hurt people, accuse people. These people, I won't let them 
council people. Sivarete na kuwabula balala. Tuma kuna council. Tuma watu. Oli kaiswana banga ya kowa. Anyeba chomu wa balala bakoi. Or people who have negative, you know, negative emotions or evil spirit. Abantu abaine miro waze bibi. Oba bali kone zida imoni. I will first help them to take care of the problems. Nzen soko baku atamu. Okubaya amboko na kubizi ubi ahuli. So, now, also I believe that Serving God is a way of training. So when they start to do it, it's also a way of training. I will ask them how they are. And then if possible, I will listen to them how they do it. And then also, sometimes when they communicate with me, on WhatsApp. On WhatsApp. On WhatsApp. I notice sometimes they say negative things. Because some people just they don't they don't they cannot discern what is positive, what is negative. And then I will ask them now, what do you think about what you just said? I don't accuse them. But I let them think about what they say, how it would affect other people. And then when they understand, then they you know they won't have negative words. For instance, I quote you what Someone said to me. Uh, she would say to someone or to me and say, "Oh, there is a, you know, that when we're talking about problem, uh, when we're talking with someone, and then she would say, uh, uh, there is a evil spirit on you.' Or there is a spirit of." Rebellion in you. Know. And I asked her, you know, how would that affect the person? Right. Instead of just saying out, instead of just saying out, we can guide the person to see the need to change. Instead of, instead of just saying you have evil spirit. Because we don't want to tear down people. Okay. So it's ongoing. Oh, training again a mass Now even people who have served with me for a long time. Now I draw it and bang it then. When I notice anything, any problem, I will also point it out. If I notice anything, I will never just let it go. But I will always say words of encouragement. You are doing very well. And I believe you can go better and better. What I'm saying to you is just a gentle reminder. Okay. Now, the next point is about some people are forward, you know, in the front, and some people are in the back. So how can we move everyone to go up? Okay. Now, um, it's true that the People are of different soils, like different soils. I do have people who are continually having problems. I keep guiding them, keep guiding them to have the, you have the relationship with Jesus. Think of Jesus and not to think about the problems. But they could go back to this depression again. But but I will not give up on them. <laughs> now I would discern there are different kinds, you know, people who are weak, there are different kinds. Some people who are weak, they will seek help. 
Some people who are weak, they insist the way. I would put more energy to the ones who are weak, but they seek help. Yeah. Now, for those who insist that I have to look at problems like that, I told them, you know, my point of view. And they don't listen. I would just help them look at the positive side of God. I realize that the mind is already fixated. The mind is already fixed on something. Mm. Mm. I won't give up on them, but then I won't try to argue with them. So for people like that, I will let you know the word of God, the prayer gradually change. When we are praying, we invite them to be together too, to so that hopefully one day the Lord changed them. And then for those who are weak but they ask for help, once in a while they wake up. And then they say, oh, I tried it. Pray to God and I improved. And I, said, and I said, you're doing great. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Mm -hmm. Now, for them, for people who are still weak, I can give them physical jobs. Mm. Or sometimes they help people who are weak like them too. Because some people, you know, because the reason is, many people came to me with depression. Because they saw my videos and they came for help. I have people who totally overcome the depression. But I have people also they insist their own ways and they cannot change. And some improve a little bit. Now even those who you know who improve a little bit, who wants to I always tell them too, one day you can help other people who have depression. There is one girl who has depression herself. And you know, from time to time she's very weak. But sometimes she gets stronger. And she has the heart to help another depressed Girl. And I see that that's not going to destroy anything. <laughs> so, so let her do it. So, <laughs> so, so for someone like that, each person is different what they can do. But with my message, you know, sometimes some of them will watch me how I serve God, you know, when they, when they cannot do it, they just watch me. <laughs> or we let them participate in, you know, some physical, some simple ministry. But we do, we do try to raise some people to serve God everywhere.
But only people who can handle their own problems can counsel people. And only those who can handle the problem and has no you know negative emotions. I mean don't have negative emotions generally. People still once in a while have negative emotions. But generally they are healthy. And then we let them lay hands on people. Okay. Now, so sometimes they might be serving by doing PowerPoints and you know, uh, the computer. The, the computer and other physical things. And I tell them, <laughs> I tell them they can intercede seed for the church. And they help doing whatever they can do. Okay. Yeah. Now, sometimes I take them to a nearby mission field, a short trip. Now, even, the, even the weak ones, I let them come along. But I make sure that they don't do any destruction. That because I, I see it as a chance for them to see how we do it to motivate them to change. Yes. And I see that when we continue to let them see the positive side of God and not to give pressure so, so, now for people who are depressed I, I won't say like you have to wake up now you have to, you have to get out from the depression now I won't give pressure I will just say you look at Jesus more. <laughs> you declare God's blessings more. <laughs> you have more strength and more joy.